Divine Office Daytime Prayer Let us now pray midday prayer using the current psalmody. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia.
I have chosen to do your will. May your hand be always there to strengthen me. I have chosen to do your will. May your hand be always there to strengthen me. Lord, let my cry come before you. Teach me by your word. Let my pleading come before you. Save me by your precepts. Let my lips proclaim your praise, because you teach me your commands. Let my tongue sing your promise, for your commands are just. Let your hand be ready to help me, since I have chosen your precepts. Lord, I long for your saving help, and your law is my delight. Give life to my soul that I may praise you. Let your decrees give me help. I am lost like a sheep. Seek your servant, for I remember your commands. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, grant that we should always offer you the hymns you have made. Then we will live to praise you and never forget your commands. I have chosen to do your will. May your hand be always there to strengthen me. Your throne stands firm, O God, forever. Your throne stands firm, O God, forever. My heart overflows with noble words. To the king I must speak the song I have made, my tongue as nimble as the pen of a scribe. You are the fairest of the children of men, and graciousness is poured upon your lips, because God has blessed you forevermore. O mighty one, gird your sword upon your thigh. In splendor and state ride on in triumph for the cause of truth and goodness and right. Take aim with your bow in your dread right hand. Your arrows are sharp. Peoples fall beneath you. The foes of the king fall down and lose heart. Your throne, O God, shall endure forever. A scepter of justice is the scepter of your kingdom. Your love is for justice, your hatred for evil. Therefore God, your God, has anointed you with the oil of gladness above other kings. Your robes are fragrant with aloes and myrrh. From the ivory palace you are greeted with music. The daughters of kings are among your loved ones. On your right stands the queen in gold of Ophir. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Your throne stands firm, O God, forever. I saw the new Jerusalem, beautiful as a bride adorned to meet her husband. I saw the new Jerusalem, beautiful as a bride adorned to meet her husband. Listen, O oh daughter, give ear to my words. Forget your own people and your father's house. So will the king desire your beauty. He is your Lord. Pay homage to him. And the people of Tyre shall come with gifts. The richest of the people shall seek your favor. The daughter of the king is clothed with splendor, her robes embroidered with pearls set in gold. She is led to the king with her maiden companions. They are escorted amid gladness and joy. They pass within the palace of the king. Sons shall be yours in place of your fathers. You will make them princes over all the earth. May this song make your name forever remembered. May the peoples praise you from age to age. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. When you took on flesh, Lord Jesus, you made a marriage of mankind with God. Help us to be faithful to your word and endure our exile bravely until we are called to the heavenly marriage feast to which the Virgin Mary, exemplar of your church, has preceded us. I saw the new Jerusalem, Beautiful as a bride adorned to meet her husband. A reading from the letter to the Romans. 
May God, the source of all patience and encouragement, enable you to live in perfect harmony with one another according to the Spirit of Christ Jesus, so that with one heart and voice you may glorify God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Accept one another, then, as Christ accepted you for the glory of God. The Word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be be to God. God. The Lord finds joy in His people. He He honors honors the lowly and saves them. Lord, fill us with the resplendent light of Your eternal love. May we love You above all things, and our brothers for Your sake. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. 